This is Jessica Williamson and you're watching Zapro. With the economy in the crapper, you may be looking into getting roommates these days. Hey, maybe you want to go red free and give it all up for religion and join a convent. Well, you could do worse than the Episcopal Sisters of the Community of the Holy Spirit in New York City. After 57 years, the sisters will be constructing a state-of-the-art green convent with two rooftop gardens, solar water heaters, rainwater collection, natural ventilation, and recycled glass and concrete throughout. Hallelujah! Some of you might be thinking, if you're just kicking old school and waiting for the rapture, why try and even be green? Well, it all started about a decade ago when the sisters started talking about being green. This didn't go over too well at first. The sisters were like, we want to heal people, not the earth. But over time, the sisters started to see the whole, you need an earth to have people, part of the equation, and started to change their ways. And they've done a damn fine job. Now they compost, recycle, eat local organic produce, they serve fair trade coffee, and even sold their minivan and use zip car. And they're currently looking for a company that uses fair trade labor and 100% organic cotton to make their nuns habits. Sister Faith Margaret says, it's a question of stewardship and responsibility. So if you're hearing the calling or just can't come up with rent money, you can now get thee to a green nunnery. Ghost nets. It sounds like some rogue branch of the CIA that started killing heads of state. In an attempt at world domination, the only thing that can stop them is the host of a green news show. No? Anybody? Well, in reality, ghost nets can be much deadlier. A ghost net is an industrial sized fishing net. That means really big. They get lost at sea and float around the ocean ensnaring and killing things. The Ocean Defenders Alliance recently put one of these things out of commission. A trawler sank off the coast of Los Angeles in 2006. When it hit the bottom, its nets came loose and got tangled around the wreck. And the 40 foot high, 9,000 pound net has been waving back and forth under the sea for the last two years. Kurt Lieber, founder of the Oceans Alliance, said, It's one of the spookiest things I've ever seen. It's a huge vessel encased in a net and anything that swims in it gets trapped. The wreckage is in about 150 feet of water, so the divers have to use a tank filled with a special nitrous oxide mixture so they can spend more time at the bottom. Diver Cindy McGugan said, At one point I was frantically cutting off pieces of netting when a net was tugged upward by an airbag. I looked around and discovered I was in a kill zone. There were tons of bones and a bunch of sea lion skulls and a shark caught in the fabric. Worldwide, ghost nets kill millions of animals a year, but no one has solid numbers because the problem is so immense. Though the High Sea Ghost Nets Project is attempting to attach beacons to larger nets and track them by satellite for later removal. So head out to highseaghost.net and check out their interactive map for all the ghost net tracking fun. Want some free stuff? Well, buygreen.com is looking to give it to you. Sign up on our community site, add a blog entry. You can use pics and videos and the best blog entry this week will receive this. Sponsored by buygreen.com. And don't forget, there's a link in our show notes. With salmonella in your peanut butter and E. coli in your veggies, we're wondering what the hell is going on with food? Check out animalvisuals.org. Web designer Mark Middleton gives you a first-hand look at what it's like to be a commercial egg-laying chicken. If you're confused about the food products that have wacky labels, check out ecolabeling.org. They catalog any green labeling you're likely to find. And this year, the California salmon run was the lowest ever recorded. Scientists believe overfishing, warmer ocean temperatures in 2006, and 50 years of crappy water management by California are to blame. So last year, the salmon season was closed for the first time ever in recorded California history. And it doesn't look like there's going to be salmon for dinner this year either. But if you are jonesing for some fish and you've got the cash, you can head on over to Tokyo where an increasingly rare bluefin tuna weighing 445 pounds recently sold for a whopping $173,000. And if you're confused about which fish you should be eating, here's some fish to avoid. Bluefin tuna, yellowfin tuna, and red snapper. And here's some of your best choices. Pacific halibut, tilapia, and bass. For a handy pocket guide or an iPhone application, there's a link in our show notes. And check out the miracle fruit. That's really its name. When you eat it, it makes limes taste like candy and vinegar like apple juice. The latest trend is to host miracle fruit tasting parties. We really have nothing better to do, don't we? And it makes schnozberries taste like schnozberries. Willy Wonka, anybody? Thanks for watching. Remember, you can always lick the schnozberries at zapru.com. Hey, YouTube user, you should subscribe. The button is right over here. Seriously, this button's all over the place.